I'm going to go back to the uh, theory of viruses. Um, Thank you. As I think if you've been following my videos at all, I'm not a proponent of uh, vaccinations. I find that theory, um, I find it cl mysteriously close to homeopathics. Okay, first of all, the medical doctors say homeopathics don't, don't work. But we'll take a little bit of a virus and we'll put it in the system. We'll get the system to respond to that. That sounds suspiciously like homeopathy to me. Okay, just because they don't believe in it, I just wonder what they're actually you know, what theory they're going on. But uh, the problems with it is they are vaccinating everybody, even whether they're at risk or not. It's indiscriminate. I think it sets people up for more dangerous diseases. But that's a particular uh, theory of mine. And it's not probably taking mine. Probably most natural physicians look at it and go, yeah, yeah. But uh, one of the things that I find quite disturbing is uh, that they want to vaccinate uh, teenage girls against cervical cancer because they say they've isolated the virus for cervical cancer. And uh, thank God that Rick Perry thing didn't get in for government, uh, in for president. Uh, he wanted a mandate, a bill that, w that said that 16-year-old girls had to get this vaccination. Now I wonder who's in his pockets. I just can't imagine uh, if you looked at the research that you would want that. But the, somebody called our house when we were living in Texas. I think uh, one of my kids was about 15. She answered the phone. They said, do you know that you're at risk? And she had read somewhere that if you have sex, they can't, it, uh, you know, uh, it kind of disqualifies the impact. So she said, I've already had sex. <laughs> now, I don't think that she has had or had had at that time sex, but I don't know for sure. But I thought it was a very clever response. I thought it was brilliant for her to come back. But I was doing a class in Canary Wharf and there was a nurse in my class and she had some maturity, she'd been around for a long time. I said, okay, what what causes cancer? And she said, you know, that's the thing. Nobody, there's no, there's no like pattern to it. They can't figure it out. It's, you know, and I said, is it a virus? And she said, no, there's not a lot of evidence that it's a virus. I said, okay, then if it's not a virus, how can they be giving vaccinations to young girls to say that they're going to prevent cervical cancer. And she was truly curious. Before you let people stab your kids and put toxins in them, and I've said this over and over again, I will continue to say it, do your research. Before you let people stab you and put toxins into your system, do your research. Look at how, look at the odds of getting something from the vaccination and look at the odds of getting something from not getting the vaccination. Have a fun day. Um, like I said, life's a mystery. www.micpeakperformance.com